Hey guys, it's your girl Mika here, the adorable girl next door. You know when you wake up late for work and you have to rush to put on your makeup just to get out of the door on time? Well here's a makeup routine that's under 10 minutes that you could try on your own. I have multiple camera angles set up so that you guys know I don't try. <laughs> I'm out of breath. So that you guys know I'm not pulling any tricks, I'm not doing any cuts, this is all real time. And here we go! All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover for this part of the video because this is actually my second attempt and I was having a really hard time talking and putting on makeup at the same time. I guess multitasking just isn't for me. But the very first thing I actually applied was a moisturizer from Tarte Cosmetics called Boba Bomb. I love this lotion because it's super light on the face and I never break out when I use it. Then I'm gonna grab my flat brow brush from Morphe. This is the M165 brush, and I'm also gonna grab my brow promade from Anastasia in the color medium brown. And since I'm limited for time, I'm not gonna really try to shape my brow right now. I'm only gonna fill in my natural brow shape. Now this is actually kind of tough for me to rush through because I spend the majority of my time getting my makeup ready on my brows and eyes. So doing this in a rush is kind of a pain in the butt. And as you can see in the video, I'm already getting kind of frustrated. Not to mention the fact that my brows look like trash right now. Ever since the pandemic, I haven't had a chance to get them done professionally, and it really shows. Oh, I messed up a little bit right there. But yeah, I've been tweezing my brows at home for the better part of a year now, and usually I get them threaded. I haven't had them waxed yet, but someday I'd like to try it out. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create a nice smooth surface on my eyelids by using some eyeshadow primer from Morphe Cosmetics. Now this is a product I was actually talked into buying by a sales rep and I kind of just used it because I owned it, but I didn't realize how well it worked until the day I actually ran out of it. But using a shadow primer really helps the shadow stick to your eyelid. The color pops more, it lasts longer, and it kind of makes a smoother surface in general for when you're actually applying it. Next is a product that's actually fairly new to me. I've only recently found out about foundation primer. It's basically the same concept as the shadow primer. It creates a nice smooth surface for your foundation to lay on. It really minimizes your pores and makes your foundation look nice and smooth, kind of like an airbrush. Oh, I had a misfire there. Look out. <laughs> I hate when that happens. But I'm not gonna waste any product. Anything that landed on my finger, I'm gonna go ahead and smear across my face. Then I'm gonna grab this orange egg spongy thing that I like to apply my foundation with. I forgot the name of the brand, but I'll go ahead and post it in the description below. So yeah, I get my orange egg spongy thing and I really just kind of beat the shit out of my face. I mean, you don't want to wipe it, you kind of want to just tap it. Just kind of tap, tap, tap away. As you can see, I'm also going over my eyelids. Now, usually I like to take a light contour cream and kind of shape my brows, but since I'm in a time crunch again, I'm kind of just going to rush through it. And then I'm going to grab my favorite eyeshadow palette from Tarte Cosmetics. I love this palette. It's brand new from Tarte. It's amazing. It's the Amazonian clay. It's super pigmented, really pretty colors. You can see I use it a lot. It's super dope. Now what I like to do here is get a medium to dark color shadow and kind of just cover right above the eyelid to right below the eyebrow. I use a really light hand when applying my shadow. It creates a better gradient and it's a little easier to control. If you go too heavy, uh, you're just gonna make your shadow look a little messy. I'm gonna go ahead and get the same brush here and get a lighter color and apply it to only my eyelids. That way you can see the difference between the light and the darker color. You're probably going to notice I mentioned Tarte Cosmetics a lot in this video. It's probably my favorite cosmetic line. And no, this video is not sponsored by Tarte Cosmetics, even though I wish it was. But honestly, it's really just my go-to makeup line whenever I need something. I always check there first. If they don't have what I need, or more likely they're out, then I'll go ahead and venture out to other makeup brands and see what they have available. Now my next step is actually going to be eyeliner, but as you can see here, I'm prepping my eyelashes to apply a little bit later. Now this allows the glue to get tacky before you apply it to your eyelashes. If you apply it too soon, it'll be too wet and it'll probably shift around on your eyelid. If you do it too late, it'll be too dry and it won't even be sticky, so it's a fine balance. But I find that if I do this process first and then I do my eyeliner, by the time I'm done, my glue will be the perfect tackiness to stick to my eyelids. Now my favorite brand to use for lash glue is Duo, and I like to use the color black because it dries nice and smooth. I find that when I use the clear glue, it creates a kind of a shiny sheen to it when it dries, and I don't like that. Now if I really am late for work, I won't waste time on eyeliner, but for the sake of this video, I kind of want to prove it to you guys and myself that it can be done. So of course, I'm going to start from the outside in and get some eyeliner on there, that's my favorite part. If you guys want some tips and tricks on how to apply your own eyeliner, check out my latest Makeup for Noobs tutorial here on YouTube. 
I'll post a link to the video down below in the description. Now I forgot to mention this part in my eyeliner's tutorial, but if you're new to makeup and you're looking for a really good liquid eyeliner, then I highly recommend the Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner by Stila. The intense black color is super dark and super pigmented, and if you use the waterproof, it'll stay all day. Sometimes I'll even go to sleep and wake up with it still on, and it still looks like I just applied it. And as I mentioned in my tutorial, I do have hooded eyes, but I really don't have time to create the fish hook look today. But I'm going to stick with the three basic steps of eyeliner application. Follow your natural curve, create your lines, and fill in the gap. And at this moment, all I'm trying to do is make everything even. Hmm, not too bad. And now back to the lashes. Now right now I'm actually looking for my lash tweezers. Uh, I, this is another product that I got from Tarte Cosmetics and it's something that you don't realize how good it is until it's gone. Uh, it's a little pricey, but honestly having the right tool for the right job makes a big difference. Now this is another process I would never attempt if I was actually running behind. I will usually pop on a little bit of eyeshadow and some mascara and that's it. But again, I wanted to prove to myself that it's possible, so here we go. Now my lash glue has dried up pretty good and it's nice and tacky so it's sticking to my eyelid pretty well. And the trick here is to make sure that you stick your lashes in the dead center of your eyelid. If you place them too close to the inner corner of your eye, it'll just poke at you all day, which can cause your eyes to become watery and make your makeup bleed, which will ruin your day. But hey! I actually did it in the first try, not too bad. I'm really proud of myself. Look at me, look at me go. Okay, next step. I'm gonna get my Born This Way Under Eye Concealer by Too Faced, and I'm gonna go ahead and contour the light parts of my face. Now, of course, there are many ways to contour, but I'm gonna go ahead and try out this TikTok trend going around where you just kinda poke and prod and then blend everything together. Oh, TikTok, how you've taken over my life. I'm gonna grab my orange egg spongy thing again and just kinda beat the shit out of my face one more time making sure I blend everything in nice and smooth. And while I'm working on that, I just wanted to remind you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more adorkable Mika goodness. I'm only 998,000 people away from a million, so you know, halfway there, give or take a few hundred thousand. But you know what, even if I don't get fame and money and power, I'm still having a blast here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for all the support. My main goal is to get people to smile and feel good. If I could do that for even one person per video, I'll truly consider myself successful. Okay, enough with the mushy stuff. Back to the video. Okay, my face looks a little white now because I kind of put a little bit too much contour all over the place, but it's okay because I'm going to add some dark foundation to really bring out the darker tones and the shadows of the contour. Now for this step, I'm actually using a foundation that's been discontinued by Tarte Cosmetics, but at one point this was my absolute favorite foundation to use. Luckily, since I'm only using it for contour, I still have about half a jar left that I've been using for the last two and a half years. I know makeup has an expiration date, so let's just keep this between us. For my nose, I like to use a smaller angled foundation brush to blend everything in. And then I switch over to a wider Tarte Cosmetic brush to blend in my cheekbones, my forehead, and underneath my chin. Now once I'm done with this step, it'll really bring some color to my face and I won't look like a dead zombie anymore. So now I'm going to go ahead and blend in the contour right next to my hairline. It creates kind of a shadow and I'm really just stalling because I don't know what to say at this moment. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm on my chain. Here we go. Now you don't have to put contour on your neck, but if you love McDonald's and Cinnabon like me, it's a little chubby. So putting a little bit of dark contour under there really chisels the chin line. Now for a little added color, I'll go ahead and add some of my favorite powdered bronzer from Anastasia. And this will add a little bit of depth to my cheekbones, which will make them look nice and plump. And to apply that, I'm using the MB7 angled brush from Morphe, followed by the M106 round powder brush to apply my blush. I like to put my blush on my forehead, my chin, the tip of my nose, and my chickity cheeks to create a nice sun-kissed look. Now for moisture, I'm gonna use some of the MAC Cosmetic Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This stuff is awesome. I'll also apply a little bit of 3-in-1 Hangover Setting Spray by Too Faced, the uh, cosmetic brand, not the Batman villain. While I'm waiting for my setting spray to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and use the lipstick that I've been using the most lately, which is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. Now, depending on what you're doing throughout the day, wink, this lipstick should last you up to 12 hours, even if you're wearing a COVID mask. Best part is, it's not even that expensive. It's about seven or eight bucks and you can buy it anywhere. Target, Walmart, Sephora, Ulta, Toys R Us, Circuit City. No, wait, not those last two. Okay, I'm clearly stalling again because I was really trying to get my lips right for this and it was not cooperating, but uh, oh, there we go. Okay, put it away. 
Finally, I'm gonna take my favorite mascara of all time. This is the Bad Gal Mascara by Benefit, and this stuff is perfection. Even if you're not using false lashes, this thing will really make your eyelashes look really long and elegant, and it is the best eye mascara. I, okay, wait, I screwed up right here. Let me fix that part. It's the best mascara I have ever used. I love it. And, oh, dang, wait, I think I'm done. <laughs> and boom, time, that's it. Okay. Let your hair down and you're out the door. Just like that, not too bad. Actually, it's pretty bad, but you know what? It's good enough to rush to work. I'm on my way. See ya. <laughs> I forgot. To, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other stuff I always tell you guys to do. Until next time, mwah. <sighs> Wait, it stuck too much lipstick. <sighs> okay, bye. Hey guys, you know when you damn well here's a makeup routine that uh, damn it. Well here's well here's a well here's a makeup routine that's less than 10 minutes that you could try on you know when you wake up late for work and you have to rush through your makeup to get out I'm not speeding through the speed. <laughs> damn it! No <laughs> Son of a bitch! Uh.